Hey guys, welcome back to Bannon Builds. This is Clayton here again. Another uh, video for you. This one's on my Ram 1500, so a little bit different than all the other ones I've been doing. It's uh, You guys haven't seen this truck at all. It's a 2018 Ram 1500 uh, Sport, and I'm putting a light bar on it. So I've seen online you can get these 42-inch uh, curved light bars. They fit real snug sort of in the front bumper there. There's a little bit of a gap, but uh, let's dive right into it. Yeah, guys, like I said, this is my 2018 Ram 1500. See, it's the sport model, so the one thing, the bumper is a little bit different on them. So if it were like an SLT or Outdoorsman or Bighorn or something, there'd be a split right here. Sorry, a split right there. And then uh, you'd have some tow hooks down here. So I had like a big plastic insert that fits into that gap there. So we took that out earlier and uh, should, the light bar should fit right in there. That gap's about 50 inches. Sorry about the wind noise. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. But yeah, the, that gap's about 50 inches. The light bar is about 42 inches. If we can get a view up in there. A good size gap. Might as well uh, fill it with a light bar. Yeah, as I say, 2018 Ram. I didn't have my keys with me. I think I have about 70,000 kilometers on it. It's got the big screen, heated seats, steering wheel, everything. Nice tint on it. This brow on the windshield's awesome. It's a 5% strip. You see it's a custom strip, sort of a bit of a curve to it. And this is about 12% all the way around. Can't really see through it at all. <laughs> but yeah, haven't really done much to the truck. Got steps on it. Uh, these are the tires I run in the winter time. These BF Goodrich KO2. They're just a little bit too small though. They're only 17s. Yeah, so it's that piece I took out. So it sits in the front of the truck uh, with that, with that side. Left. So again, that's sort of where the tow hooks would be. I've seen some guys put those on a sport too, but it seems like quite a lot of brackets you got to do for that. So the light bar should sort of fit right there. Work its way down over to that side. Got to find a new place to mount the front license plate. These are just some of the screws for, uh, not even for this. This is all just held in with clips. You can see all the clips all the way around. Main Canada. There you go. I love seeing that. But yeah, I see it online. Some guys are using different stuff for brackets. I just had these laying around the house. Everything going on with uh, COVID right now, a little bit hard to go out and buy some brackets from some sort of hardware store. So I think these ones are gonna do. So you got little marks there where the size is up. I'm just gonna have to cut that, drill a hole through there. We'll see when the light bar gets here. Hey right, guys, just picking up a couple days later after uh, those last clips I filmed there. Uh, ordered the light bar uh, what was that wednesday that's when i was filming that today's friday so the light bar showed up this morning looks pretty good some of the wiring comes with see it's got a little switch on it there sort of like a push button just some double-sided tape on it i think i'll end up switching that out in the future for something more uh, permanent see a fuse built in resistor power negative that up to the battery and this is what actually gets hooked up to the light bar so i have to connect those wires with uh with this wiring right there but yeah all that came with it just these little brackets little allen bolt there sort of goes up a little rubber pad i guess helps stick on the side came with an allen key and everything Good looking though. <clears throat> As you can see, that's that's the piece that we took out for this to fit in there. So you see, it's pretty uh, pretty good size. Almost fits uh, fits perfectly in there. So yeah, as I was saying, that's uh, that plastic piece came out of. You can see all just those clips along there. There's quite a few of them. There's some on the sides. Oh, it's sort of hard to get out and see. 
It fits good in there. So like I say, a couple inches on either side, about four inches maybe. It's pretty well right centered. And you see that bracket right beside, um, there's like a bumper bracket in there that everybody seems to hook a bracket up to. That's the center bolt there. See nice and center where the license plate is. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get the truck back, back up. Get the truck lifted up. Try and get this thing secured in there. Okay, guys, got it lifted up. Jack stands under there. So you see on the bottom here, so there's one, two, uh, three, and four. Those four screws, that just helps this move a little bit. If you see up in the top here, you can see they just hook onto those uh, sort of bumper mounts right there. Right there, and the same thing on the other side. So everybody I see, and they were taking all these clips out of the front there, some of those like push pin sort of clips. But there's actually a, uh, a rivet. I don't know if you can see right on the end there. There's a rivet on either end. I didn't really want to drill that rivet out just to take this piece off. Uh, everybody's saying to take it off just to make it a little bit easier to access, but I'm gonna try and leave it on just cause uh, yeah, like I said, I don't want to drill those rivets out. Try not to have to put new ones in. But you can see these two bolts. Yeah, those two bolts right there. There's one of them and then two of them. So we're going to use that outer one over there. This is on the passenger side. We're going to use that outer one to actually uh, mount the bracket to. So we'll take that one off. And the same thing on this side. So you see those two bolts there again. Right there, and right there is the other one. So again, we'll take that nut off. Bracket should run from there to sort of right about here where the uh, where the light bar is gonna end up. All right guys, as you can see, I got the bar in there. So you can see the one, don't have that bracket on yet. It's just sort of sitting in there. It's mounted on the other side right now. So you'll see the bracket I sort of rigged up. Could use another little cut just to sort of straighten it up right there on the end but yeah wiring wasn't too bad the uh yeah the wiring it came with it had uh these connections on it so i would have needed to get like the uh the sort of male version that crimp inside of these but i ended up just cutting those off putting two of these on just sort of straight through ones, crimp those with some uh, uh, wire cutters and then taped it all up. So we got that tape, everything tucked away. I guess we still gotta get that bracket on there anyway. So I think it's gonna sit somewhat like that. So I mean, that's pretty good. See, so sort of standing straight back from the truck. You can't even really see it there. They sticks out like a little bit, but really not much at all. I just gotta finish tightening that side. Get that bracket on. This is what I ended up using for a bracket. I showed you the, the before, I ended up cutting it. The other piece, pretty well the same thing. Just drilled that hole, that hole was already there. Luckily it had the exact size I needed. Um, and then yeah, so it came with this relay here. So I just grounded that right to the truck. There was a little metal eye right on the side of it this little fuse you can see the cord comes off the light into the relay and then from the relay there's a negative and a positive got that hooked up that hooked up so there's a fuse there and then you can see that black cord running through the firewall so there's a little grommet there you can sort of pop out feed that down in through there And then yeah, this is the switch here. So it came with this. I see, like I'd like to get like a rocker switch for it, sort of an on off, opposed to like a push button. Uh, I see some guys like drill holes here, but I mean, I don't know how big that piece is. I don't want to go drilling holes in the dash. I'm thinking maybe this little panel here, just, just a little square piece. So if I needed to replace it, I could easily just replace that one piece. I know that's one there. Uh, but yeah, so again, still got to, get the uh you can see that grommet still loose i gotta get that tightened up 
is all the wire here, so I gotta tuck that up in there as well. But yeah, so you turn it on. It's a little light on there, you can see when it changes. Now it's bright out right now, it's only about noon, so it's uh, a little hard to tell. I'll have to get a clip tonight when it gets a little darker out. I got a uh, MBRP exhaust on this truck. I don't know if you guys can hear how loud it is. MBRP. Sounds pretty good. And yeah, look at the lights. So, I mean, I only really plan on using this, uh, like, country roads at night sort of thing. I'm definitely not going to be using it in uh, actual roads as I'm going down and blinding people. Like I say, i got to get that license plate mounted. I think it's going to have to go a little bit higher than where it was. But, yeah, let's uh, finish getting this buttoned up, and then we'll uh, we'll catch up in a minute. All right, guys, well, i got everything hooked up now. All the wires all buttoned up, everything like that, nice tucked away. Looks, uh, looks pretty clean actually. So yeah, as I was saying, you can see the bracket there, the one I used, just some stuff I had laying around the house. I think I'll take them off eventually and paint them black, maybe finish them up a little bit neater. But yeah, you can see the cord there. Just got it sort of zip tied to the frame, won't move around. Then you see it just heads up from there right up to the battery. So the vents in the back of the uh, light bar, keep it nice and cool. And then, there's the other bracket there. So again, this one looks, uh, I mean, it's black already, but other than that, I should still trim the edge of it there and make it sort of more symmetrical. But yeah, I just gotta put some of those plastic pins back in, those little sort of push pin things. So yeah, these are those plastic pins I was talking about. So you see that middle comes out just like this, center comes out, and then when you push it in, then push that pin into the center in there. But yeah, what, there's two, seven of them, four, six, seven. So I got all those back in, and these are just for the uh, license plate. And it's always good when you take something apart and you got no parts left over. Yeah, LED light bar. So I know that's the, I think, Willpower 42 inch, 24 watt, uh, yeah, with wire harness kit. So like I said, it came with everything I needed. See, there's nothing left over. I mean, this was uh cheapest light bar. Well, I don't want to say the cheapest, but one of the cheapest, one of the soonest I could get delivered. I think after taxes, after shipping, it was only about 90 bucks. So that's 90 Canadian. So I know that's uh, even cheaper US, probably about 70 bucks or so. Which, I mean, if you ask me, that's pretty... Uh, truck's filthy right now but yeah pretty good deal for something that uh looks like this like i say i get those push pins in there you can see the fitment because that bracket looks a lot nicer there bit of a gap sort of thing right there but i can't really i don't know if i want to tilt it up at all maybe i could tilt it up one notch you can see on the side, it's sort of uh, grooved. There's groove, so it, it'll click sort of thing. So I could loosen it and maybe go up one notch on either side. Might sit a little bit nicer in there. And now this thing's uh, garbage, I guess. I don't really know what, uh, what good that'll do. So you guys can see now, everything's all done. Put the license plate back on there. Sort of broke down all that earlier. Truck's back on the ground. Just went for a drive around the block. Everything seems to be good. So yeah, guys, came out here to film a quick clip uh, just before it gets too dark out. You see the sun's pretty well gone down. Some nice country road out in the middle of the bush here. Uh, but yeah, so again, everything's all done now. So here, you, so you'll see the daytime running lights on the, uh, that's on like the projector style lights that are on these new Rams. They're not new, I guess the fourth gen, not the fifth gen. Uh, then the headlights. Just turn the knob once more. So again, you can see the headlights. I don't know if it's gonna show it on there. And then the high beams. 
So you see, I mean, it's fairly bright, just don't have the fog lights on. And then uh, now see how bright the light bar is in comparison. Wow. <laughs> that is bright. And now here, turn the headlights back on. Yeah, see, you don't even notice the headlights from this light bar. <laughs> That's awesome. I am impressed. I am truly impressed. Under a hundred bucks, shipped to the house. And that is bright as ever. Be nice to get these done in the, the sort of white style lights. I've seen some kits. Uh, yeah, I've seen some kits. It seems fairly hard to get those uh, changed over to a white lights. Between the fog lights, that projector, and then the actual high beam there. I do like that amber running light, but I mean, it's sort of LED sort of matches this, but obviously the color, how it's sort of a soft white opposed to the bright white really doesn't match well. But we'll try and get that changed someday in the future. But yeah, again guys, so like I said, the thing was only 90 bucks after tax, shipping and everything, so it's a pretty good deal. I'll put the uh, link down in the de de description there, sorry, from Amazon. Uh, two day shipping, even with all this stuff going on in the world, uh, I guess Amazon's still uh, essential to some extent. <laughs> I don't know about light bars, but apparently they are. <laughs> yeah, thanks again for stopping in, guys. This uh, first video on the Ram, definitely some more to come. Gotta get some bigger tires again. I know before I had some uh, Mickey Thompsons on it. They were 20 by 10. I wanna get some 20 by 12, uh, like negative 44. Stick out a little bit more than the last ones were. Uh, but yeah, like I say, more videos on this truck coming, more videos in general coming. But uh, thanks again for the support. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, do what you do. Keep it up. Love the support. And we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time.